Hey guys, there was a party in my mailbox today and I am getting ready to share it with you. This is the October Quilters Candy Box and I love getting these. It's so much fun. It's like, like I said, it's like my birthday every month, except I stopped having birthdays a couple years ago, so it's more like I just keep still getting gifts, which is awesome. So let's take a look and see what's inside this month's box. All right, let's check this box out and see what's in here. It's like a party in my mailbox surprise every month. So much fun. By the way, if you're looking for a gift idea, this is a great gift idea, sewing subscription box. I don't know anybody who doesn't like getting fun um, stuff in their mail, right? Okay, so October Quilters Candy Box featuring Tula Pink, and then here's kind of a list. It looks like there's six different things in here, and I will kind of read them off as we go. Sorry about the birds. All right, so the first thing I see in here is this designer ribbon pack, and this looks like it is Tula Pink's designed ribbon from Renaissance Ribbons, and it's all bright and colorful, just like her fabric lines are, so that's kind of fun, and you get two different ones in there. Um, it doesn't say how long they are. It's hard to tell. I would say, I would say maybe a foot worth of ribbon. Kind of hard to tell. I'm just eyeballing that. All right, and this little holster thing. This is kind of fun. Oh, this is for... It's like one of those uh, silicone holsters, and let's see what... Uh, yeah, you can actually stick it to any surface and hold scissors, notions, or anything else you want to keep close to your sewing machine. It's actually showing a picture of one of those kitchen scrubbers, which you could use because it's a fun color. But I think I'll stick it um, over here in my sewing room, actually, and put, like, probably scissors. Because that way, when you put them in there, it won't, you know, rip a hole. I'm always worried about ripping a hole in my uh, maker mat that I have over there. So, fun. All right. Let's see what's in this goodie. I also like that they wrap everything like a present because it's just fun unwrapping, right? Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so it's a paintbrush <laughs> and a pumpkin, like a paint your own pumpkin. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, what a cute idea. Okay, so let's see what it says. Paint it cookies from Whip It Good Cookies. Use your creativity to paint and eat your own festive holiday cookies. Oh, this is so fun, you guys. Or if you were looking for like little party favors for birthday parties or something like that, um, you know, or your retreats or something, that's so cute. So you must just get this wet and then, yay. Plus, I just want to eat it anyway, right? Okay, awesome. Cookie, treat. A lot of times they'll stick, quilters candy box, right? They stick some candy or some goodie in there for you to eat while you're, while you're sewing. All right, so next thing we have is the goodies, the fabric. That's what everybody looks forward to. So this is a five inch charm pack. And this is the spirit animal fabric. And it looks, when you, if you haven't um, done like pre cuts or anything like that, it's basically, you usually get one or two. Sometimes they double up, like this one looks like they doubled up on, but of each print in the line. So I'll try and kind of show you these. I don't necessarily want to unwrap this because they're hard to get back together. But Tulip Pink's fabrics are always fun, and there's animals and faces. This one has faces on it, designs. And she makes them all really nice and colorful. And then she also throws in a few what she considers solids. I've heard her speech on solids before, so they always have something on them. They're never fully solid, um, but, you know, so that it's not quite as much color into each of her lines. So this is cool. There's some olives, some brighter greens, and these have little animals on them. It looks like just a random design, but if you open that up, I know I've seen the animals on them before. Bunnies and stuff like that. Hope you can get a decent view of the line in here. It's really bright and colorful and pretty. So we've got oranges, the purples, and this is really like a bright fuchsia. And basically you get a sample of all of the fabrics in this line when you do um, these charm packs or fat quarter bundles or fat eighth bundles or whatever. So uh, as you can see, it's a veritable rainbow. She's always really good about putting lots of different colors into her fabrics. So anyways, all right, so that's fun. So Spirit Animal 5 inch charm pack. Ooh, these are cool. I always wanted some of her uh, hardware. Okay, the next thing is Tulip Pink Hardware. Check out the metal. I really don't know how they do this, but it's got this like rainbow hue to it. We used to do this in my pottery class and it was like haiku or something like that and um, looks so cool. Anyways, this is a pair of, is it tweezers? Does it say? 
five inch surgical seam ripper. That sounds serious. Don't cut yourself guys. Five inch surgical seam ripper. Make short work of stubborn seams, including two blades. Replacement blades are also available. Okay, so this seems kind of scary, y'all. Not gonna lie. So there's replacement blades in here. And then you must have to, okay, so it doesn't come with one on, so you must have to put it on. But look at, hopefully you can see that on the camera. It's like, is it focused on my hands? Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, so I don't know. I'll, uh, try this and then let you guys know. How do I get it back in here? Help. Okay. I think it goes like that. There's like a little dent right there for this screw. All right. And then here's the blades. So it looks to me, I can see through this packaging that it looks like a, um, like a, like a box cutter blade or whatever in there. It kind of does this shape. So be careful y'all. This looks serious. I'll let you know how it goes. All right. And the last thing in here is the cookie cutter. See if I can get that without lights all over it. Cookie cutter Jaybird quilt pattern. Super bright and colorful. Would definitely go with your little charm pack here. I'm thinking, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking this may not be like super beginner friendly because you're dealing with bias seams. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking this isn't so much a beginner friendly pattern, y'all. But if you have any quilting experience at all, I think you could probably you could probably handle it. But it's a really nicely written pattern and um, no Y seams. So maybe it's not as hard as it looks, guys. I don't know. Let me know if you make have made something like this. All right, and then in this section right here, it's got your materials list for baby, lap, twin, queen, or king of what you need for, you know, uh, yardage and all of that kind of stuff. So really fun. Cool. That's a super cute pattern. Okay, so let's take a look at everything all together. All right, guys, so here are the contents for the October 2017 Quilters Candy Box. This is really cute. I love their notions. This looks really cool, and I've always wanted uh, some of her hardware just because of it's such a cool color with whatever the effect they do on the metal is, and I'm really happy to have some of her fabric in my stash as well. This is probably going to cause a fight between my kids because they're all going to want to try it, so I'll probably just have to hide this and eat it later. All right guys, so that was the contents for this month's Quilters Candy Box. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I really love Tula Pink and I'm really excited to have some of her products in my stash. So if you have any questions about the Quilters Candy Box, I'll make sure to put a link of where you can get it all below. Um, but basically it's a monthly subscription box for sewers and quilters that comes full of goodies, um, sewing notions, some candy, and usually um, some exclusive items that you can't get anywhere else. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time.